All right, welcome back, Prospect Live viewers. We're back with another 2020 MLB player breakdown. Of course, joining me today, courtesy of perfectgame.org, is Brian Sikowski, PG's National Scouting Supervisor. Brian, today we're breaking down a very exciting bat here from the prep class. Tyler Soderstrom out of Turlock High School in California. We'll pull up the video. Um, for all intents and purposes, I guess we'll say with quotation marks, one of the top catchers in the draft. But talk to me a little bit about Soderstrom because it seems like he's a guy, you know, the bat is of such quality. He could potentially fit in at a few different positions long term. Yeah, and generally speaking, when you talk about a guy having to move from behind the plate, when you talk about it, like it's said in like a negative context, you know, usually because usually the guy that means the guy's got to go play first base or he's got to go DH or something and we're losing some value there. But with Soderstrom, it's it's not the case because he's athletic enough and he has enough peripheral tools to where, you know, it's it's most people seem to think it'd be right field, but he could maybe play third base. He could maybe play first base. He could maybe play all three. Um, and it's not like a, we need to move him because he's bad behind the plate. It's we need to move him because maybe we can even maximize his value by moving him elsewhere and allowing the bat that much more freedom to develop while not worrying about being behind the plate. So, yeah, it's it's a bat profile, but it's not without those peripheral tools like I was talking about. Um, it's pretty substantial raw power from the left side of the plate. It grades out as plus. He gets to it pretty frequently. Like he's a guy who, who hits for power in game and he hits for power in game pretty often. Um, had a really, really good, you know, summer circuit. You, know, you see him here with the, the PDP Team USA and really good at the perfect game stuff. He's an All-American, you know, stood out at the area codes, did the whole deal, uh, hit everywhere he went. So, yeah, it's we're pretty sure about the guy as a hitter. We're pretty sure about the bat. We think that there's – you know, the, the chance for a pretty impactful type of some combination of one average and one plus tool being a hit tool and power tool or, or vice versa even. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and in a corner outfield spot, that plays. That that plays like a, like an above average everyday regular. That It's not a it's not a profile that's looking to lack the punch necessary to play in a corner spot because that's what he's got, man. He can hit the ball pretty far left-handed and he does it pretty often. Well, I guess, you know, sort of the question is because obviously there is, you know, a crunch of, you know, talented prep outfielders at the top of the draft. Just in terms of, you know, the player at the plate, you know, remove defense, all the peripheral skills. As a hitter, how does Soderstrom stock, you know, uh, stack up against, you know, Hendrick and Veen and and Hassel and P. Crow Armstrong and those kind of guys? He's right there. He's right there with him. It, it kind of depends right now, like – you know, I, I think most people see Veen as like the the number one guy in that group. But then after that, there's for the next two or three, it, it's kind of a, a split decision. It's some people like Soderstrom there, some people like Hendrick. For some, it's Hassel. You know, Pete Armstrong's in the mix there too. But it's a really, really fascinating, interesting like sort of depth area in the class, like a niche. Hey, the prep left-handed hitters in this class are really good or the prep left-handed hitting outfielders. It's, it's kind of a, a weird niche that came to being. Um, but yeah, I, I think he's right there with, with him. I, I think he's got a chance to go off the board as, uh, you know, as early as like the early teens. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're talking about a guy here who could, you know, he could go the second of the prep players. Interesting. All right. I think we covered all of it because I was going to ask you where he goes and you sort of already answered that. There so, you go. You see it now. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me, Brian. That was uh, Tyler Soderstrom. We'll be back with another one. Thanks, guys.